From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. BMX Saving Youth and Thrift Store Flipping. Hello, I'm Oswaldo Escobar, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Jocelyn Ariano. BMX has been around ever since the early 70s and has impacted communities ever since. Reporter Miguel Cortez talks to a local family to see the positive effects of taking up the sport. Community, physical fitness, style and exploration, what do all these have in common? BMX, a great way to keep the kids out of trouble. Yes, I think PMX has kept my son out of trouble. It has kept him out of the streets, so I think it's been a good thing for him. My son first started riding BMX. I was a little worried because I felt like he was going to get hurt. But now I'm okay because he's careful with some of the tricks that he makes. It has kept him uh, be more active outside instead of being inside the uh, house on the TV uh, or the computer. I think some kids do enjoy it and meet good people out there. and be more friendly and outspoken. So yes, I think it has been beneficial for him. Well, if I didn't ride BMX, I definitely do think my whole life would have been a lot different. Even like just hanging out with the wrong people because I know a lot of people from my school, they're just always hanging out with the bad people and stuff. But I feel like I always kind of steered away because I always could just go ride bikes with my cousins because I can just go anywhere and have fun anywhere really. I just go and get my bike and go cruise and it's a good time always. I would most definitely recommend the younger generation to ride BMX, especially with the day and age where like a lot of people are getting addicted to their phones and all that. Good thing to just kind of do on the side. You can meet a lot of great people doing it. Picking up a BMX bike may be a lot more beneficial than you think. For Local Matters, I'm Miguel Cortez. Drifting has become more than just a trend and has helped creatives find new outlets to express themselves. Reporter Cynthia Gomez talks with Nestor Jimenez about his thrifting process. The fashion industry is always changing, but today we'll talk to a young man to see how he stays in fashion by thrifting and tailoring clothes. I started in 2016. I started messing with clothes a lot. It's my job to repurpose them and to make them, you know, decent for the next person. Doing that wasn't anything serious. It was just supposed to be fun, just messing around, just looking at clothes and eventually caught my eye and then from there it took off to be something more important. I would describe my process as looking for colors, fabrics, quality. It doesn't really matter what size it is. You know, usually when it's bigger I can make it smaller, but when it's smaller I can't really make it bigger. The fabric, the garment, if it's you know good enough to use and I'll use it, I'll incorporate it into whatever else. I usually come home just have some time to really look at the fabric. From there, I just start working. And get out my materials, tape measure, chalk, to make sure I do an exact cut on it. The sewing machine is the last thing I will eventually use. That's when the product is gonna be finalized. I, I love it, 100%, you know, because there's a lot of garments that were made and they were made with horrible colors and, and horrible prints and, and a lot of people don't wear them and that's why they're in thrift stores. The next time you want to look fashionable, thrifting and tailoring clothes is the way to go. For Local Matters, I'm Cynthia Gomez. To keep updated on what Local Matters is doing, follow our social media. To watch some of our other stories, head on over to our YouTube channel at Local Matters CSUSB. I'm Jocelyn Ariano. And I'm Oswaldo Escobar. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.